Welcome or welcome back, I'm Cisco. In this video clip we're going to talk about adding and subtracting rational expression. We're going to start with some easy uh, type of problem. Here we have 5 square root of 6 plus square root of 6. That will be 6 square root of 6. Uh, what about number 3? Uh, the same story. You have 6 cubic root of 3 minus 2 cubic root of 3. That will be 4 cubic root of 3. And here we have 7 square root of x minus 9 square root of x negative 2 square root of x. So as you notice what we do here, we just take care of the coefficient on the radicals. We, we uh, 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 combine those uh, coefficients and we keep the radical, right? 6 minus 2, 4, 5 plus 1, 6. So uh, pause the video, you can try number 2, 4 and 6. If you have these three answers for 2, 4, and 6, we did a wonderful job. Right? But sometimes you can have radical like this, right? It seems like they cannot be combined because they are different, square root of 50, square root of 32. However, square root of 50 can be simplified. That will be square root of 25 times 2, which will be square root of 25 times square root of 2, the long way, and we have 5 square root of 2, right? So basically, that's the thing we're going to do here. We're going to do 7 times 5 square root of 2 minus 3 times, what about square root of 32? Using the same process, right? 16 times 2. Now, we end up with 4 square root of 2. Okay. And now we notice, in fact, we do have the same uh, radicals. So they are alike. Hmm? Uh, but let's do some simplification here. 7 times 5, that is 35. 35 square root of 2. 3 times 4, 12. 12 square root of 2. And then we can just simply subtract them like we did in the previous uh, examples. 35 square root of 2 minus 12 square root of 2. 23 square root of 2. So don't forget, if you get, uh, if you need to simplify expression like this, check first if they are alike. They might be alike. I'll pause this video clip and try number eight. If you end up with this answer for number 8, then you did a wonderful job. What about cubic root? Pretty much the same story. They looked at that are not alike, but you may want to check it. Maybe they are alike. Uh, cubic root of 54. If we simplify that uh, cubic root, we're going to have what, 27 times. So 27 is a perfect cube. That's the reason we, we use 27. And that will give us 3 cubic root. After. So, uh, we're going to have here 8 times 3 cubic root of 2. What about cubic root of 16? Cubic root of 16 is cubic root of 8 times 2. Again, 8 is a perfect cube. That's the reason we use it. And that cubic root of 8 is 2. 2 cubic root of 2 is the simplified form of cubic root of 16. So we have here 8 times 3, 24, 24 cubic root of 2, 2 times 2, we have 4 here, minus 4 cubic root of 2. And obviously the last step we have 24 cubic root of 2 minus 4 cubic root of 2, that will be 20, 20 cubic root of 2. Uh, 
Pause this video clip and try number 10. So if you notice on this example 10, we cannot uh, combine, even though we simplify these two radicals, we cannot combine them because they are not alike. Yet, yeah, sometimes is the case. What about problem like this? Similar idea. The only difference we have fourth root and fifth root. Fourth root and the number 11, fifth root and number 12. So let me do the number 12, which seems probably more complicated, fifth root. Uh, but then you're going to start with uh, fifth root of 64. Here, again, the idea is to break it also in a perfect fifth power. That will be 32. Yeah, 2 to the fifth power. 2 to the fifth power is 32. And 32 times 2 is 64. So this uh, fifth root of 52 of 64 means 2 fifth root of Okay, so we have here 5 times 2 fifth root of 2 plus 3. Let's see here about that uh, fifth root of 96. 96. So again, we, we look in here and uh, uh, think about if this uh, 96 can be broken. And we have uh, again 32 times 3 is 96, so we have, again, fifth root of 32 times 3, uh, and that will be 2 fifth root of 3. Okay. So, 2 fifth root of 3, and I, I already noticed something. Uh, what? The, the radicals are different, right? We have square root of 2, square root of 3, so that tells us that it cannot be combined, but we can do more simplification. 5 times 2 is 10, and fifth root of 2 plus 5 fifth root of 3. So you see it's similar to the previous example where we can do some simplification, but we cannot add this radical because they are not alike. Um, pause this document, try number 11.
If you end up with this answer for number 11, 5, 4 root of uh, 2, that is excellent. If you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square.